Looking to make your Oracle Cloud public DNS zone accessible to the internet? You are in the right place. Welcome everyone. My name is Firasat, Senior Network Architect at Oracle. In today's agenda, we would choose a domain registrar, we'll delegate the domain, we'll allow time for propagation, and lastly, we'll verify by adding a record in the public DNS zone. Step one is to choose a domain registrar. A domain name registrar manages the reservation of internet domain names. I have signed into my domain name registrar, which is GoDaddy. And when on the home screen, click on domain to check the domain names. Geo.info is my domain name, which I'd be using in this demonstration. Click on manage DNS to check the name servers. Click on name servers and this displays the name servers, which it is pointed to. We can verify this from a machine hosted on public internet. Here I have set the query to name servers for our domain name, confirming that they are the same. ns66domaincontrol.com, which is same on the GoDaddy. Now we'll use our purchased domain name and move ahead to the Oracle tenancy to create our public DNS zone. Sign in into the Oracle tenancy. From the hamburger icon, select networking and under DNS management, select zones to land up here. Once you're on this page, click create zone and select primary and the zone name would be our purchased domain name. Click create to get this added. Our public DNS zone is ready and we can see that it has four name servers records. Now we'll hop on to our GoDaddy registrar and point the name servers to these records. Select name servers and then click on change name servers. The existing option is pointed to GoDaddy name servers. Change it to I'll use my own name servers. We'll go ahead and paste the four name servers here. Once the name servers are pasted, click Save to complete. Click Continue. Our request is in progress. This completes the delegation. DNS resolvers may take time to recognize the new name server records due to their TTL values. As per step three, we have allowed time for propagation and the name servers are now pointing to custom name servers. We will verify the completion from the same public instance. Now, we see that our domain name is pointing to Oracle DNS zone name servers. The last step is verification. To do so, we'll use a load balancer IP and add a name record. Click on manage records, add record. We'll leave the name option as you want to point it to the public DNS zone type will be a record and then the IP address would be the load balancer public IP address. Click add record to get this saved and post that we have to click on publish changes to implement. Confirm publish changes. Our A name record is successfully created. We can verify by doing a NS lookup to our domain name geo.info from the same public instance. We see that the domain name is being resolved to the public IP address of the load balancer. The same IP has been added as a A record on our DNS zone. This shows that our DNS zone is now ready for creating DNS records, making it publicly accessible. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful.